Number two, when tightening a bolt, you push perpendicularly on a wrench with a force of 165 newtons at a distance of 0.14 meters from the center of the bolt. Uh, letter A, how much torque are you exerting in newton meters? All right, so here's our uh, picture. All right, uh, the bolt is in red, the wrench is in black. All right, it has a certain uh, arm, right, lever arm to it. We're going to apply a force that is perpendicular to that lever arm, and the force that is applied is 165 newtons. All right, if we were to think about um, will this answer be positive or negative, remember, you have to think about how the object will rotate. If it rotates in the counterclockwise direction, just like I've shown, it's going to be uh, positive. And if it were to rotate then in the clockwise direction, it would be negative. Uh, so here it's going to rotate in the clock, uh, counterclockwise direction. Therefore, it's going to be positive, the torque. And we can plug in a positive force. And as you can see, the force is pointing up. All right. But you might say, well, wait a minute. What happens if I drew the picture this way, Andrew? And, uh, you know, I drew my arrow down. Look, now it's the force is negative, right? Or the, or the force is down, but the torque is still... The rotation, I should say, is still counterclockwise. So how does that uh, jive with one another? Well, the convention is to write your picture out in this fashion, okay? Meaning that the uh, lever arm is pointing in the positive x direction. If I had to draw my coordinate here, right? The lever arm is in the positive x direction over here. And I'm drawing my force then on that positive x lever arm, okay? Uh, if you were to look at it this way, right, the lever arm is now in the negative x direction. So therefore, actually, your your uh, the the lever arm here value you would plug into your formula over here as a negative value. Okay, your force then is also pointing down, so that's also negative. So that gets plugged in as a negative, and a double negative is a positive. All right. So hopefully that'll clarify that. Let's just get rid of all that mumbo jumbo, and there's the original problem. So. Not to belabor the point, let's calculate letter A. It's a simple plug-in, right? Torque is equal to the uh, lever arm multiplied by the force applied, multiplied by the sign of the angle between the lever arm and the, and the force. So torque, just plug everything in. The lever arm is going to be 0.140. Force is 165. Sign of the angle between the two, look at the picture, 90 degrees. All right, so that theta is going to be 90. So we just plug it in. 0.14 times 165, sine of 90 is 1, so 23.1. So we get a value of 23.1, and that's newton meters. Okay, so that takes care of letter A. What is letter B? Um, convert this to uh, convert this torque to foot pounds. That's letter B. We have 23.1 uh, newton oops, newton times meter. I got to get rid of newtons and meters. Okay, so we need a conversion factor. Okay, um, so basically what we have to uh, know is that for every one Newton, it is equivalent to 0.225 pounds. Okay, so the Newtons will go away. And then I got to get rid of meter and convert that into uh, feet. Okay, so we can do this in a couple of ways. You might want to know the conversion. All right, the, the um, direct conversion that is. And if you don't know that direct conversion, what you might be able to do is you might be able to um, go to, let's say, centimeters, and then maybe you'll know a conversion from centimeters um, to feet. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll, I'll basically give you the value here is that um, so one meter is about 3.28 feet. Okay, so the meters would cancel, right? And that would give us now our answer. So all we have to do is now plug it in. So 23.1 times 0.225 times 3.28. And it comes out to be about 17.0, right? 17.0, and that is now foot pounds, LBS. All right, foot pounds. And that takes care of this problem. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in number three. Thank you so much.